It's called a uh, Fish Rock Alternative Metal Electronica. It, first up, the Caterium Towers. Mm, yes, it does appear that the ingots are ingoting. That's the thing about man. Will he ever be truly satisfied? Hello, Sigma Males. Welcome back to Satisfactory. I'm currently on a flight southward, headed to get some nitrogen gas. As you can see, the sun's going down, but uh, I put down a resource well pressurizer here. I got my power line. Just to hook that sucker up. After you do that, then all these little external nodes start releasing the nitrogen and I can start putting on and now I can put my resource well extractors on there look at that all right so it looks like to transport this nitrogen gas I'm gonna need some empty fluid tanks which I've honestly never used I usually just make a gigantic pipeline but it's kind of uggo and I just want to do things better this time so I'm gonna use a packager okay I'm back at the little temporary nitrogen place so I just throw in my aluminum ingots here now we're getting these fluid tanks beautiful and look at that package nitrogen let me grab one just uh, take a little huff beautiful isn't it don't do drugs kids all right so I'm just gonna let that go for a little while as you can see in the corner up there I'm trying to make progress on leading edge production that gives me access to the minor mark 3 which would be really useful to have so I'm kind of just skipping ahead and I'm just gonna make some fused frames I only need 50 welcome to the gut hut here, we make alien protein and alien protein accessories. You'll love it. It's good in smoothies. Good on your salads. Super tasty. Shout out to the one of my viewers who called that a gut hut. That is fantastic. One other thing I wanted to show you guys. As you can see, the steel factory now has an accompanying accompanying anyway it has an adjacent building right here and this is where I'm gonna be manufacturing all my steel stuff so I got a parking lot and uh, I think I'm gonna set up a truck station eventually but let me show you so as you can see there's a uh, there's some connectors connecting the two buildings so you can go inside of the main building here so here I am inside and you can see here's our products of this one all the steel now is going not into the sink but into the production building so let me go over here and show you what that looks like so this facility takes all 480 per minute steel ingots and gives me these products most importantly 20 encased beams per minute and mostly this is just for use for in construction but obviously I'm gonna have excess at some point that I can use for production for of more complicated parts down the line so it's got two floors and on the bottom floor is all the steel constructors and also sourcing the limestone right there for the concrete Up here on the second floor, those are the concrete constructors, and over here are the final assemblers of the encased beams. On this side of the factory, you can see the output section. I have the three crates here for the different outputs, and if there's excess of them, they can get shipped over here into this excess sink. Currently, right now, they're just filling up, though. Whee! So I have this little walkway here where I can monitor. You can see the pipes zipping by. There's the beams down here. And the encased beams as well is what I meant to say. Here's the normal beams. 
So yeah, I had like a temporary thing going here that was just making steel pipes and steel beams. Now I'm actually automating encased beams, which uh, yeah. I'm using the alternate recipe that uses encased pipes. It looks pretty good, I think, and uh, fulfills some automation requirements. Next, I need to do this to the <laughs> to the um, quick wire factory right here. This is still bare bones, huh? I also really need to get an aluminum factory and uh, probably a heavy modular frame factory, the computer factory. So I think the next part of this video is going to be me showing off my next factory. Oh yeah, also I'm going to get this uh, leading edge production going. Alright, I'm going to guess that 600 nitrogen gas is probably going to be enough packaged too. I think that actually ends up being something like 600 times 4. Oh, gotta boost myself. I'm too impatient to wait to fly there. Oh, I missed that one. Bomb the earth with nobelisks. I won't stop until nothing remains. Kaboom. So these are actually not too hard to make. You just need nitrogen gas, aluminum casings, and the heavy modular frames. So I'm going to chuck in the aluminum casings here. I got the nitrogen gas here. Go ahead and unpackage that. And then that should mix with all the stuff in here. Oh, there it goes. So it's constructing our first ever fused modular frame so for 50 fused modular frames I actually need 2500 of these aluminum casings which is pretty substantial but luckily I've got enough and I think that I'm on my way to getting these minor mark threes or reusing the empty fluid tanks is really satisfying for some reason wait why did it already stop oh it just stopped because it takes a long time to construct these maybe I can boost it Oh, look at that. They look so nice. You know, I don't, I can't say I understand how nitrogen fuses these, but I'm not really going to question it. This giant pile of storage crates, by the way, is just the, the remnants of uh, me tearing down the old steel factory and piping, or conveying, rather, all the fucking materials. God, I need to sleep. Uh, conveying all the materials from that factory over there and just storing them away because Fixit does not approve of wasting anything. You know how it is. Here's the current plan. As you can see, my current objective is being fulfilled, but I'm planning on building some factories soon, and those factories are going to help me fulfill the long term goals of completing tier 8 and phase 4 eventually. But that's going to be a hot minute, I think. How you doing, Gerald? It's been a while since I checked in with Gerald. How's the wife? Oh, you got a divorce? That's rough, buddy. Oh man, I've got so many of these little lizards. <laughs> Sorry. Slugs! God, I got Dark Souls on the brain or something. I might as well just uh, fry a couple of them up in this factory, huh? I think I just feel like it would be so satisfying. I can't resist the urge any longer. I'm throwing these slugs in here. Good luck, slugs. Look at that. Oh man, they're just being processed on an industrial scale. I think this is going to be going for a while. Why do I need to package nitrogen anyway? Isn't isn't nitrogen like Isn't that just the air? The air is like 70 70% nitrogen here. Well, at least it is here on Earth. But does this look like Earth spork? You god dang smooth brain. No. There's no nitrogen here clearly. Duh. Okay, I'm back with more nitrogen, honey. I know you need it for your crippling addiction. 
Sorry, that's a little too real. Meanwhile, this boy is still going. Just producing these shards. What am I going to do with all these? I always feel kind of, like, guilty or... I don't know. Guilty is not the right word, but... I feel like I shouldn't be using power shards most of the time. Unless it's something that, I, like, I've already built the factory and I just miscalculated and I just need to overcharge something, but... Uh, you know, if, if I'm gonna use a power shard, I'm just like, well, I could just construct more machines instead, for the most part. But actually, on this playthrough, I've been using them quite a lot. I used extensively in the, in the saddest power plant over there. Let's check on the power, actually. So yeah, I don't know what happened or what went wrong, but at some point, the... Power started fluctuating again. Yeah, holy crap. I can't believe that the max consumption is actually getting really high. Jeez. Uh, so I might need to make uh, another power plant soon. <laughs> Hopefully, actually, I'm going to get uh, nuclear power going, which I've never done before. So that'll be a whole process. So yeah, there's a whole lot in store still for this game, I think. Let's see, okay, I just took a, a break for like five minutes and it's still freaking going, dude. Uh, it looks like not all of them are going, but at least some of them are. Oh, it almost 300 shards, holy crap. So I must be done with the frames now, okay, great. Yeah, guys, unfortunately, I do have to take a work trip tomorrow, so I'm not going to be able to edit videos for a while. I have one ready, so... Uh, that will be going out soon, though. Alright, Leading Edge Production ready for launch. Get that shit up in the air. Yes, now I can make turbo motors. Okay, so, yeah, the Miner Mark III is not fucking easy to make. <laughs> I was like, man, that's going to unlock so much, but can it, I mean, it's going to be hard to even make one. But okay, I can do that. And that means the only thing left in Tier 8 is Particle Enrichment. Oh, and this is um, some advanced shit, I think. In my expert opinion, that's some advanced shit. Alright, I'm going to sleep now. Going on my work trip, driving on the interstate. Hope I survive it. Yeah, I'll be fine. Gonna take a trip. Gonna go do things. Gonna learn some stuff. Gonna meet some people. Gonna do things that I don't want to do. I'd rather just play video games all day. Rot away, rot away, playing games all day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gotta make this factory better. It's so uggo, yeah. Not a fan of the uggo ness. Sorry, I'm delusional. Good night. Well, hello. Wait, can I sip? Oh, I'm taking pictures. Well, hello, gamers and gamettes. Welcome back to Satisfactory. As you can see, I'm hanging out here on the roof of the Ironworks building. But I've got a couple new additions to the skyline here. And there you are. See, we've got some nice glass style buildings over here now. And that is what replaced my old Caterium factory, which was just laying there on the floor, kind of messily, with no containers or anything. Uh, that is a new factory, which I'll show you, which produces modular frames. So slowly but surely, building up the factory business around here, and hopefully we can get a skyline going. One thing I'd like to do, though, for factory planning is get a Miner Mark III going. Uh, this requires turbo motors, which requires cooling systems, however, which I've never actually made so I'm gonna try to do that go ahead and just get some turbo motors just a few because that's all we need for just a couple minor mark threes all right I updated the current objective uh, didn't list the factories that I've actually built but I'm building my way up to aluminum heavy modular frames and computers with things like upgrading the steel factory the caterium factory 
the modular frame factory. This one does make modular frames, but again, it's only two per minute. That one up there is 20 per minute, so that's quite a substantial difference. Okay, so it looks like the first step for making these Minor Mark threes is getting some heat sinks going. And I'm gonna use my alternate here. Uh, not that one. Yeah, I'm gonna use the heat exchanger alternate. This seems convenient. Since I'm only doing this as a temporary structure, I'm just gonna hook up storage containers to these, to this input. Yep, and then I just chuck my stuff in there. It's just rubber and aluminum. And uh, yeah, we got heat sinks. Now for the cooling systems, I need motor and uh, motors and nitrogen gas. Dude, I got a wicked story to tell you guys. Uh, actually, it can be summed up pretty quickly. Um, so yesterday I was driving and I basically got road raged and cut off and brake checked by the Wicked Witch of the West from the Wizard of Oz. I say this because as she was passing me, uh, she was leaning her head out the window. Anyway, as this person was cutting me off, uh, brake checking me, they stuck their head out the window and went, <laughs> just, just like the Wicked Witch of the West. It was terrifying, honestly. I feared for my life a little bit. So oh, these turbo motors basically represent some of the most uh, complicated parts that we're going to need to make. Uh, maybe not as complicated as the phase four parts, but this shit, it goes deep. And I'm still automating some of the early parts, as you can tell. So it's going to be a while before we can automate turbo motors, but I can just make a couple of them for some good miners, I think. And I know I'm going to need more fused modular frames, so I'm just making some more of those. It requires pretty much the same ingredients plus heavy modular frames. You might have remembered the last time I dumped a bunch of these slugs in here to get processed. Well, we've got 332 now. Jeez! Okay, so while those are constructing, let me go ahead and show you around on these new factories. First up, the Caterium Towers. Quick! We need wire! Oh, if you come here from the road, there's a little parking area for you. As you come in here, this is the outlet. So here's our products. As you can see, nothing is here because I'm not running the factory right now. Uh, all the overflow will go into these sinks if there is any overflow. And let me show you in. So here's the front door. All right, so as you enter to your left and right are the two towers and in the center here is the main uh, pioneer maintenance area. So here's the stats on the factory and uh, it produces 1200 quick wire per minute total, taking 720 per minute raw. Uh, that is at max capacity. I don't think I actually, without a minor Mark III actually, I can't deliver that right now, but uh, I can make one in just a minute. Yeah, the output is going to be split between two belts, each one 600 per minute each. Uh, the factory only uses 230 megawatts, and it consists of 16 smelters and 20 constructors. Um, as you can see, the power is on, but if I go over here to where the ore is pumped in, uh, I cut that off just for now. Whoa, I got air. I didn't mean to. Okay, so I'm just going to go grab some supercomputers real quick. Uh, so I can make a minor mark three and get this factory going at max capacity So in case you didn't know this is the best miner in the game so far uh, Well 1.0 is not out, but it's supposed to be coming out this year And I don't think they're gonna be adding a new miner. So this is probably gonna be the best one for the rest of the game uh, It's very expensive Woo! Damn did you see that shit? Got some air I don't even use the roads that often, but I figure I might as well. I have all these cars in this road, so. Anyway, let me go ahead and pull up. So yeah, the Miner Mark III requires five supercomputers, 10 of the fused modular frames, and three turbo motors. Ugh. But I should be able to slam it down over here. Yes. Now let me check on that. 780 per minute. It's a weird clock speed, but you know what? This is this is the <laughs> what we have to do to work at 100% efficiency. Gosh darn it. 
So with the factory already turned on, all that's left to do is just hook this up and let me show you. And just like that, the ore is flowing. Oh, I can hear the smelters going. And uh, in just a second, the Caterium ingots are gonna flow down here. All right, there's the first ingots. Ingots are gonna travel over here. I'm just gonna ride the belt. And they are transported up to this next building. So as you can see, I tried a different type of construction here. I'm doing vertical construction. So it's a tower of smelteries and a tower of constructors. Oh, look, the quick wire is already coming now. So yeah, as I mentioned earlier, there's two output belts, but right now they're not both saturated, obviously, because the machines are just starting up right now. Real quick, let me just show you what it looks like inside the towers here. I've got a grand staircase for both towers as well as this communications pathway for the power and the ingots to go through. Now, once you finally reach the top floor, climbing up these fucking millions of stairs, um, up here there you can see that there's some logistics. This should be the final output of all the ores. And there's a little pavilion for you, so I can come out here, get a nice view. Uh, and let me walk you over to the next one. Oh, I should build a pavilion on that one too. But yeah, I know I didn't talk much about the logistics of that tower, but it's pretty much the same over here too. There's there's basically just a central tower for the inputs and a central tower for the outputs. Um, this one you can see actually going all the way up there. Whee! So that's bringing all the inputs to all these uh, constructors up here. And there's two, two per floor of constructors. I think there's uh, two smelters per floor over there as well, yeah. Does anyone else think the stairs are kind of nauseating in this game? Like, if you actually go up the way that they want you to... Oh, it's just too many, too much turning. Uh, anyway, here we are at the top floor. And uh, here's the billboard, actually. <laughs> but yeah, you can see that um, up here, these ones are not even active because... Uh, the whole factory is still stabilizing right now. So I can come back in a couple minutes. Oh, here's the output line. Look at that. Well, at least half the outputs. Okay, so after investigating a little bit, I think I found a, a bottleneck here with a Mark III. Um, yeah, as you can see, sometimes the ingots have to stop and then buffer. Uh, once the smelters are actually running like at max because they're still probably loading up and this thing's probably always going to be buffering so let's just fix that mm, yes it does appear that the ingots are ingoting very nice indeed feeling like a professional plant operator right now okay and I'm witnessing these quick wire ingots slowly build up it's going to build up on this floor, fill up all these belts, and then slowly build up on this floor now. Oh, just doing a quick plant inspection, and what do you know? Well, there's your problem. These machines aren't even on. Turns out I just didn't set the recipe for them. There you go, buddies. Go and produce. Okay, well, the quick wire is definitely going faster now, but maybe it takes longer to stabilize than I thought. Anyway, you can see it's it's pretty much really going now, so that's that's pretty good. We've already accumulated thousands upon thousands of it. And the sun's rising, so that means it's time for me to show you the next factory. Let's drive there, why not? got so used to flying all the time anyway I hope that the Wicked Witch of the West was just having like a bad day or a mental break or something and that's not indicative of their normal behavior because I hope they don't do that shit all the time you know probably murdered a school child just earlier today ooh sick drift 
Oh, I already have a car here. Great, now I have two. Okay. Welcome to the frame factory. I don't have a funny name for it. Well, what does frame stand for? It stands for... It's called a Fish Rock Alternative Metal Electronica. It's my new type of music. Uh, don't judge me. It's my favorite genre. Anyway, here's the entrance. Uh, I just got a little canopy. It's no doors this time. It's all wide open. And uh, I got the stats right here for the factory. So this produces a 20 per minute, as I said earlier. It only uses uh, 480 iron ore per minute. And it's about 500 megawatts consists of uh quite a lot going on here but uh if you want to go into that this just breaks down step by step what's going on here and uh i'll just go up through the floors and show you but yeah just like in the other factory i temporarily shut this one off after i determined that it worked so that i can do the grand opening on on video so let's do that now bam So the miners are producing exactly 480 per minute uh, and all these machines are going to be using it at 100% efficiency in theory if I did everything right. So yeah, first floor here, this is the 16 smelteries. They produce the 480 per minute ingots. Next floor up there is the first set of constructors. And this factory is pretty uh, compact and space efficient so there's not a lot of room for me to do oversight here but there's basically two rows here and I believe the nine the one that is nine constructors over there yeah that that's for plates this one's for iron rods and then up here on the next floor we have another set of nine constructors for screws um, and I believe it is six for reinforced iron plates finally on the top floor here this is where the final product is made, which is our 20 frames per minute. It is a beautiful thing, isn't it? You can see up here, uh, nothing's really coming in yet. Oh, wait. Okay, we just got our first products coming in here. And, of course, down here at the bottom floor, there is the uh, product reception, output, whatever you want to call it, in this storage crate. And you can see I haven't actually produced any... These are from the last batch when I was testing it in my inventory. I'm just going to sit here until I get my first modular frame. Man, it's kind of crazy that like this amount of iron ore is going in, and yet we still don't have a frame. And yet that's, that's the end goal of this whole factory. Give me a frame. Wait, I think I see them. Oh, they're coming now. Oh my god. Wait for it. Oh, it's... Yes! <laughs> this is an emotional moment for me, guys. Not really, but that is pretty cool, isn't it? Let's uh, leave that leave that little factory going and see uh, how it looks when it's running at full capacity. Alright, so back at HQ, I am thinking about making a better storage because I've had this since, what, episode 3, episode 2? Uh... It's really done a great job serving its purpose, but um, yeah, I think I've never made some an auto sorter in this game, and I think that would be dope, so I'm considering my options for that. Maybe I just uh, build it next to a train station so that I can uh, easily transfer things from all kinds of factories into one central receptacle that sorts things out into different containers. Uh, sinks the excess that sort of thing you know well this steel factory has been running for so long now that steel pipes are starting to get sunk guess that means all these containers have filled up yep sure looks like it thankfully uh not all not so for the encased beams though it's getting close closer and closer also part of my uh, central hub storage area, I think, should be some kind of factory monitor. Uh, I had this idea early on, too, to have power switches for each factory uh, remotely from the hub. I think that would be dope, but it would be really hard to set up. But maybe I can do something like that, or at least have a uh, bunch of signs on the wall telling me like what factories are where producing what, uh, which ones are turned on, that sort of thing. 
for planning purposes. I'm not sure why this is stuttering now. I think a little diagnosis is needed. Oh, I see what I did wrong. Uh, I only need 720 per minute. Oh, oh, math is hard. Please don't make fun of me. Please don't tease me. Just, uh, okay, please don't tease me. This is my first time ever singing or writing a song. If you haven't seen Green Lovers, go ahead and watch that. It's like 10 times better than what you're watching right now. Okay, so I can slow this belt down to a Mark III because we actually only produce 240 Keterium ores per minute, I believe. Yep, that that should be right. So yeah, we're, we're accepting uh, 720 ore per minute, producing 240 ingots because the conversion for Keterium is a little weird. It's like 45 to 15 or something like that. Okay, yeah, now we might be uh, we might be max capacity now. Maybe it's a uh, 1,200 per minute in ideal circumstances. So, damn. No biggie, just a little diagnosis required. And yeah, here's where the power goes in. Uh, hooked up to a new little power line here. Okay, I'm gonna come back and check on the frame factory. How's it going? Well, I see frames coming in, so that's good. It doesn't look like 20 per minute though. It must be stabilizing still. I feel like satisfactory, like, I don't know. It kind of scratches the same, like, brain worm as, like, liminal spaces. Like, it's just kind of, to me at least, like, the factories that you build just kind of look like, you know, liminal. Oh, there we go. Where were all these frames a second ago? Oh, now you've decided to come join the party. I kind of glazed over it, but yeah, it, it it's a nice looking factory in my opinion. Although I know I used the glass appearance for both of the factories that I just showed you. I just, I kind of like it. However, the vertical construction was a little bit of a challenge, but I just broke it down into steps. As you can see here, uh, both of the inputs come in here and they're actually split and then split again so that I can put them into both rows of manifolds because uh, we actually need I think it's 10 of these constructors yeah 10 uh, assemblers rather just kind of sitting here watching these machines power up oh look at the skyline from up here I need more though That's the thing about man. Will he ever be truly satisfied? The factory may be satisfactory. But is the man? These are the questions that keep a factory worker up at night. Anyway, I am actually planning on using these frames and possibly the steel, uh, the encased beams and whatnot to make a... <coughs> <coughs> To make a heavy modular frame factory. Sorry, I had a Kermit in my throat. But yes, I think it's time to get back down to business. Uh, hmm. I'm not sure which one I'm going to tackle next, but uh, I'll be back in a minute to show you. Well, good evening, everybody. And it is a nice evening. Oh, the galaxy shines brightly tonight, I can see. Oh, I just wanted to give you guys a quick little update. Throw you into the ringer. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's right. Finally, building up the central station. Right here. In the heart of sport construction. So this will be just sort of a teaser, because I'm obviously not done, but... Uh, the most important thing about the central station, besides the fact that it's involving trains, is this puppy. That's right. This slick son of a bitch will filter all my items. Uh, it's even got room for some uh, excess storage at the end of the line up here. But I'll show you how all of this works and more next time. See ya gamers.
coffee. gonna do about my fucking job dude it's fucking bullshit